On the computer, I've generated uh, a number of pulses that are representative of control pulses for a quantum computer. These could be used to set the computer, uh, to set the qubit to a, a NOT gate, for example, or to define some superposition, or even create some entanglement between two bits, utilizing a number of gates, including a CNOT gate. Uh, I've also got one of the channels uh, displayed on the spectrum analyzer as well. Now, using Python, I've downloaded all this into my instrumentation, and this is my instrumentation today. This is the multi-channel uh, Proteus unit. Uh, this is 22 channels of direct to microwave, i.e. direct to nine gigahertz of, of signal that we can uh, create. Uh, on the left, the, the larger module, that's the transceiver module. More to follow on that one in, a, in another video, but for this one, the experiment really is to show that um, on the, the two modules you can see there, I'm creating four channels of direct to RF, um, and actually creating uh, four gigahertz pulses on each one of those channels. And then on the other one, I actually lowered the sample rate and I'm using a mini circuits uh, up converter. So the, the sample rate on that one is 2.5 giga samples. I'm using, all of the units have a, a digital up converter built in. So I'm creating a, an IF pulse of uh, one gigahertz and then I'm using the lucid uh, signal generator at the bottom uh, as the local oscillator and then I'm up converting it. What this system does in, in both modes of operation is eliminate the need for IQ modulation and all the calibration that comes with um, nulling, nulling the carrier and balancing the IQ tones and really simplifies a, a quantum experiment. 